right, y'all. Last one. And we put up a loaded. Oh, that's trifling. Oh, well. Cool. <laughs> Damn. Damn. You got lion? Butterfly reverse. It's air. Fire. Ooh, that's the spider. Girl. Piscean energy. I'm the eagle. Mm. Lord, Lord, Lord. Let's see what y'all got me into. This girl is on fire. Yeah, I'm crunching on me too. Sorry, y'all. I'm crunching in my ear. I'm doing that, though. You got the lion, butterfly, spider, and I dropped the card. We got the star. Girl, I'm so sick and tired of seeing this Aquarius. <laughs> Did a goddamn uh, Sagittarius reading. And it's not just an Aquarius energy. I don't know if somebody got a aqua rising. The attention wire. Trying to be seen. But baby, this shit getting on my goddamn nerves. Let me tell you that. It's my film. It's like, let me see the car one more goddamn time. Oh, shit. I'm so tired. I ain't tired. I'm home. I ain't gonna fuck up y'all reading like that. You got the lion. This is the ability to lead. You hear me say? The alpha, the omega. I came, I saw, I conquered. You got the butterfly. It's in reverse. That is the air energy. You hear me say being able to soar, maybe still stuck in the cocooning process. The metamorphosis phase. I didn't say it to spider so goddamn much. I think y'all should know exactly what it is to enter 12, the enlightenment. Oh, I like this though, because this one has a little bit of light or color or burstfulness. This could be you with your shadow mm. or areas of you. Mm. Things that you're working on though. It kind of give me something you may be working on, though. Spruce up. Then you got the fish. Piscean energy. So, I'm going to read the... I think I'm going to read both. Fuck it. We can do it like that. Am I on drugs? No. Am I on drugs? No. This is the fish. Am I shaking because I have to pee? No. <sighs> All right. It is reversed, so it is out of balance. It is distracted, changes mind often. That's why I said working on something. You hear me say trying to get focused, especially in that sense of earth, trying to find something long term, which is necessary for that. But the, okay, it said restlessness, restlessness, change of focus, loss in the current. The fish loves to be uh, subsumed in life's current. Nothing pleases us more than the movement, and the movement and more movement. The Roman lifestyle of the fish may be exhilarating for a while, but usually leads to a weariness and slippery relationships. With all the possibilities out there in the vast waters, the fish becomes the last without clear goals and intentions. Spend some time with the lunar forces. Dear fish, as the peace... They say, uh, dear, 
no, Luna Force is dear fish as the peace and calm of the moon will soothe your soul. That's why I said this is Pisces energy. Maybe doing too much. Like you hear me say, especially working on something, trying to see the color into it, though. Like, you may view it as this, and it may be another person, or it could be the reality. Like, you hear me say the moon. You hear me say what's done in the dark is highlighted to the light. So, it could be things that you may do with your shadow or with others or the darker parts of you or things that you have possibly romanticized or brought some sense of in... <sighs> highlighted in a beautiful way. Like, it just gets me, like... Mm -hmm. We're gonna butterfly. Let's see it. It does just against me though. Where is it said? This girl is on fire. No, I'm trying to get to air. Where the fuck is the air? That's earth. Shit, my bad. I, I pull the pages down. I bet y'all like, girl, this damn girl. Here. This girl is on. Undergoing a great change and a transformation. Yes. It say when out of balance, it is fragile and it is frustrated. The energy of the butterflies with us during the periods of transition since air is the element of the heart. This change usually involves relationships or you love your job, perhaps your career. Since transition is, a company, is accompanied by... Uh, some sort of discomfort be extra patient and kind during this time especially if the butterfly is you let solid friends and activities support you like a cocoon committing to one daily routine a meal a practice or a prayer done at the same time and place will do wonders for lifting the butterfly spirit hmm, i said that that's why I said the star may be stuck with you, or you may be operating with an Aquarius or matters of the heart, or with you going within to see your own inner light. So, let's get to the sense of the shuffle, even though it took me a little minute to get it out because I'm trying to eat potato chips and shit. I really am. I told y'all, like, you the fire signs, y'all be a beat and y'all have this energy about y'all but mm -mm, i told y'all this shit feel heavy i'm like god damn does it seem like it's just sucking the life out of me and not in a sense of like that but it's like draining and i don't usually feel drained in that sense where i can like do like a shit load of i can push them out back to back but this like mm -mm, you know it's not like that in a negative sense because usually y'all really don't have like major shit going on not for us like this or something like that but because the emotional clear depth readings really rarely come out for y'all because y'all be like shit it is what it is that's going on so it's kind of like whoo that down mm. four cups five of pentacles let's go damn off the bat Whew. Six of Wands. This is the star. This is the Six of Wands. You hear me say, um, and the Six of Pentacles. Ooh, shit. Wait a minute. 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 Cause you got Ace of Pentacles and a Magician though. Like, it could be something with you or something that you're working on. Like, you hear me say a business idea or a project or with something. You do got the Ace of Pentacles and a Magician. This is something that you hear me say that you possibly have concocted in a long time. Trying to bring into a sense of purpose and now. But it's not getting the light that it really needs. That's why I said with the Six of Wands and the King of Wands. Like, this is, you hear me say, the need for control or <coughs> trying to manage certain things. But it's kind of like you can't. At this moment, I ain't going to say you can't. But it's like you all over the place that's what i said just a little bit all over the place you for this you got the what is this the messenger of swords this is the messages of air this is the knight of swords and the page of cups reverse that's why i said it's kind of like doing too much over time getting burnt out trying to learn newness and apply certain things at the same time that you losing a sense of faith and the ability to be able to believe that's why i said but it does give me this here like with this six the king of wands you're gonna say that's somebody that could be a little bit emotionally abusive boundary evading uh evading like this person that is just you know It's like learning about highlighting some sense of it's abuse. 
substance abuse. Okay, Six of Pentacles, you got the High Priestess here. And, and um, the Justice. Yeah, this is what it is. Mm. High Priestess and the Justice here. Mm -mm. This is the Star, and this is the Libra. Hell yeah, no, I'm not going to go down that road. But, um, High Priestess and the Justice here. That's why I said this is you when it comes to, uh, Yeah, but I said she won't bring that as well. Oh, my bad. I got lost. Uh, Yeah, I'm reading them, counting this up because this is two. That is partnerships, harmony. This is 11, trying to bring some sense of balance, but it's the six of pentacles. It's how you're going about it. It's abusive. Um, It could be somebody's doing it to you, and you don't even like it, though. You hear me say, like, trying to get some sense of fairness of what is right or whatever the case may be, but it's kind of like it's abusive in a sense of it's, like, wrong. And then you hear me say, going back to this inner interest or whatever the case may be, 2 plus 11 is 13. In this day, 13 is the number for the Scorpio energy transformations. And 13 is for about foundations. Don't ask me how I know that. But, um, yeah, that's why I said, yeah. I had like a weird fun fake type moment. So I was like, yeah, pause. Um... You got messages, you got messenger, shit, knight of cups, nine of pentacles, four of swords, and the six of cups. This is what it is. It's kind of like some creativity or some matter, some passion project or something that you had picked up. This is uh the monetary set. So it could be you. It could be, you hear me say, sexual endeavors, creative interests. You hear me say of, mm, damn it, I knew that was coming out. Uh, for you hear me say, past hurt. That's what kind of gets me though, but... Ooh, this story is changing for the worse. Wait a minute. Focus. Boom. That's why I said, what is up with y'all fire signs? I'm going to use the other day. I'm going to stop on this one. This Knight of Cups and this Nine of Pentacles, you hear me say, that's that concocting energy trying to come up with something. You hear me say, uh, trying to reap the benefits of something. You hear me say, whether it's you pushing someone for them to be a star, trying to... Uh, it's just like you giving it, like I'm telling you, giving it the best that, like it's just giving me that and giving it the best that I got. Like, I don't know why I keep getting this as energy. Second hand, on the other hand, you hear me say this here, this magician energy, this nine of pentacles and this four of souls, this is six of cups. This is somebody in a sense of trauma. Like, this is a trauma. Like, you hear me say, the independently trying to work through certain things over time, like trying to brew a sense of magic. Uh, understanding, enlightenment, trying to be the magician, trying to blend in all the energies, trying to work with everything in an alchemy aspect. Maybe life has threw at you to become your own star, your own sense of light. Then on the other hand, you got the Six of Pentacles energy here. Well, I don't know where this third party comes into. This high priestess and this justice where it's an abuse of power. So I don't know who you're talking to or what you're trying to outsource to or a person. I don't know, but it's kind of like Maybe they done something or you relied on them or it's something that has to do with justice or fairness, but it's a third party person. Maybe you're the third party in somebody else's story. You hear me say where well, you're calling out this behavior or trying to bring in some sort of balance. But um it's three different narratives. That's why I'm for the switch dicks. I am. Page of Swords, and this is the Nine of Wands. Mm. Page of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Yeah. Like, this has to do with something that's making you very uncomfortable. Learning information, being vulnerable. This is a situation for you. It's something that you may have been into. Like, it's something that you've been down this road before. That's what it kind of gets me for. It's like you've been down this road before. So it's kind of like going down this road is kind of like what you trying to get from it, though. That's my whole thing. Because I know the alchemy. You hear me say the number one. It's an independent person trying to blend to do certain things by itself. Independent can be... Whew, it can be good when you hear me say well, you have the resilience to keep going, but when the nine of pentacles is in reverse, it's kind of like that's no, that's when it comes, that's when it turns into selfish type game. Not saying you always trying to reap a shitload amount of money, 
but it's selfish in that type of nature to where it, it can become abusive to you and others around you when it comes to trying to do the alchemy for self to where you don't see the oh let me stop and praise my ups let me see how i conquered this or da 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 this doesn't need attention or i don't need to shine a light on this you hear me say maybe i'm still in the cocooning process oh my god i keep trying to go in there and i took the cookies out the oven they're not done let me put them back in oh I over it's like that energy where it's kind of like teeter tottering back and forth with the recipe it's like just figure one out if one doesn't work you know what i'm saying but this third party entity person that's in the business they a problem and it's annoying the fuck out of me because my whole mood shift when i got right here King of Cups. I said they aggravate me. Like my whole mood just shift. I don't like that. Like, yeah, I don't like that. They get on my nerves. Like they just made my whole mood change. <laughs> I'm finna switch dates. Maybe that'll work. You got the moon here. I don't like that. They made my whole mood change. You got the King of Cups and you got the King of. That's why I say it's too many people in this story. You got the King of Wands, which is up like reverse, like trying to do everything. That is your energy within itself. Well, it could be Aries, Leo. Uh, it could be Aries, Leo, whichever one or whatever the case may be. Then you got the King of Cups and the King of Swords. These are upright, but when it comes to actions, it's kind of like doing too many things. So it's like, who are you listening to or what are you maybe doing when it comes to you, when it comes to the alchemy type experience? So maybe Aries that you hear me say that you may be vulnerable in and you may be needing some sense of support but this here this high priestess and this justice it's it's killing my mood and i hate it and i don't like it <laughs> but um eight of swords and the queen of wands the queen of swords eight of swords and this queen of wands energy you hear me say that is um And the Six of Swords and the Capricorn energy. Right. How long you been? Wait, but I'm gonna get my other thing. Let me just lean back. Cut the old track. Cause this this six of pentacles this high priestess and it's justice that you hear me say this over time where you hear me say this is somebody that has kept some information from you or you have kept something from someone in this type of moment to where it's kind of like it's a, it's a power play somebody is pretending to be a sense of help to you and i don't like this it's aggravating the fuck out of me at this moment like it's like either they come in with, just wait and it's like this is aggravating the fuck out of me and i hate it like i fucking hate it or it's this energy of the illusion of you doing this to somebody else and it's coming from this pace of the emotional aspect and it's not getting shit clear especially here because after it's said and done this is the six of swords and this is temptation so this may be what you <coughs> internally a battle that you may have been going through but i'm telling you it's like give me three different fucking folks and i don't like this shit because it's getting on my fucking nerves like my whole mood just changed and i don't like that shit I don't like that shit at all. Especially with the Six of Wands and this Capricorn energy. Like, this is somebody that's returning back to something that is only good for them. And they have logic. They have, like, you hear me say they have, like, a reason and an emotional tetheredness to this. So, if it's the King of Wands energy, whether it's abuse, abuse of power, communication, talking to someone... Or doing something like it's somebody returning back to something because they feel like they can this Aquarius energy I'm gonna figure out what that is and we finna figure out what the fuck this Libra energy is cuz the Aquarius is like ugh, I know it's been coming up in such a reading for another person that shit is getting on my fucking nerves but this Libra energy really just got me like through the roof so we finna figure out what the fuck that is cuz it's, <coughs> it's pissing me the fuck out it really is I don't know if it's their energy, yours, but it's, I'm telling you, it got me pissed. Like, I don't even know why. It got me so mad. I'm like, why the fuck am I mad? <laughs> like, man, we finna see the head this Aquarius energy about. It's another card in here. Wait a minute. Oh, that's the swan. 
I'm looking at the man in the mirror. Oh my god. Like, we're gonna get some clears in the hip hop. I'm tell you, it got me mad. Like, who pregnant or something? Like, this shit made me feel like I wanna throw up. Girl, it's like making me so mad. Like, you know, I don't even like it. That's all I got to say. It, it, it makes me want to throw up. I'm telling you, what to do? Like, I'm pissed. I don't know if somebody's pregnant, but it's making me mad as hell. <laughs> like, I ain't never felt this <laughs> energy before. I'm saying, it's like pissing me off and it's making me mad. Okay, let's see about this star energy. Who is this Aquarius? This is the food in reverse. Is you still over there debating about this shit? Anywho, um, Ten of Cups, Five of Swords, Three of Pentacles, and the Lovers, and the Six of Cups. So, what is that? What is that? Like, 10 minus 5, that's 5, plus 8, 8, plus 6, which is 14, take away 9. <laughs> like, that puts it in. Back at 6. Let's see what anything else that comes in. 6. The eight, yep, goes back to the number eight. I don't know what does that mean to somebody who eight. It's eight. It's um, I don't know. I got something to do with eight, but um, ten of cups. This Aquarius type energy though. This ten of cups is five of swords and it's three of pentacles. Like this energy here. Like I don't know if it's a person that you're trying to coexist with or you want to be happy with or you're trying to fix it. But this here, like this is like it's it's old. It's an old love. It's an old something. It's, it's I don't know what it is. It's like this lack of a honesty. It's like learning about it or just going back towards something. That's what it kind of gives me, though. Like, going back towards something. Like, I don't know if it's serving of you or what does it does. Like, that's what it gives me, though. If it's a contractual type matter where you hear me say learning about certain things, it's kind of like this is you. Unhappy about it. You hear me say it could be a decision type that made Queen of Swords and the Moon. Like you hear me say this abrupt sense of truth. King of Cups and the Temperance and the Two of Pentacles. That's why I said this is here. This needs to. So that's why I said this is Aquarius energy. You hear me say with a person or something or someone. I don't know if it's an old relationship. Or you hear me say the overall humanitarian needs. It has something to do with a contractual type matter. Pentacles energy could be Capricorn, Pisces, Libra, and Cups. Um, it's just, I don't like this. It's the, it's, it, maybe it was like a bad business deal or something that didn't happen the way you needed to do, or you may not be giving it the time that it really needs the time to bake for certain things to get some sort of understanding. It could be just happiness or in the moment or not being uh, emotionally accountable in the past or lacking self-love or learning love and those type of instances. You hear me say, we're now, you kind of hit with this harsh truth of reality to where you feel like, man. And then you hear me say, especially with this Queen of Swords, when I tell you about feminine energies or coexisting, especially with this person that's trying to be this or this situation, this is where you hear me say, like, where feminine energies are taking on this role and they're, like, full-on fucking dudes. And I keep telling y'all to watch out for this shit. Like, they full-on dudes. And I'm not talking about from, like, a sexuality perspective. I'm talking about from an energy perspective to where they handle certain things. They're emotionally incompetent. And this, like, no lack of remorse for other type of people. That's why I said this is this person. This situation. So you may be learning something about this. You hear me say over time that's like annoying. It could have been self-reflection or trying to work with this. Like the fucked up part. You're like I'm trying to work with it but at the same time it's kind of like. It's annoying. It's annoying. It's annoying as fuck. All right, okay, let's figure out what this um this Libra energy is about. This annoying though. I'm saying it really is. That's what I say. It just gives me impatience when it came to a deal or something or 
wanting to get in something or going into a possibly a self-reflection where you putting your all into something to bring some sense of light or make some sense of star out of something or someone that is becoming very negative or you may be recognizing that you may be working with someone that's hyperly negative or it could be parts of you where you hear me say that you gave to others and trying to give that shit back to you but it's like this harsh truth you hear me say when it comes to the alchemy type of part or you may be like people who read the alchemy or into a sense of alchemy it's just like what parts you may be trying to take with you like people for instances that's why i said that's what's getting on my nerves it's the people it's the people and the experiences. That's what's getting on my fucking nerves. It really is. But also, too, if you in a relationship, I'm sorry, somebody cheating. <laughs> somebody cheated or cheating. And then, like, this the energy where you hear me say, like, somebody can't get over it. Like, they still stuck there. Like, somebody just cannot get over the decisions that was made because this is the King of Cups when you hear me say this and hear me roar. Like, if it, if it was him or you did it for the emotional reason, like, you lack the emotional depth of understanding of your own actions. Being so impatient and so easily withdrawn like this is the energy where you hear me say where men be looking for women to be nurturing and kind but at the same time they don't know how to give it so when old lady not giving it to them they go off and make decisions based off emotions like this is weird because you're gonna say men say women women they cheat they cheat for love no the fuck we not that's y'all that cheat for love like they go out there to go get the same things that the old lady do that she's not doing now because she's in the queen of swords energy that's that impatient type energy so it's kind of like did something with no sense of remorse and it kind of like uh you didn't think things through that's what it kind of gets me though Whew. but it does get me though like you hear me say for us this other matter if you heard this um The other said, this shit is annoying. I'm <laughs> like, who I'm telling you, Aquarius has been popping up in Aquarius. Uh, Aquarius has been popping up for a long time. But this could be the energy of somebody else. You hear me say that you may be sitting around and you see the shit that's going on and you kind of don't like it. Like, this is you, like, coming to a harsh reality of a person of something where you kind of, like, completely at your wit's end and you kind of, like, fuck you, fuck it. And this King of Cups energy could necessarily be Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. That's where it's kind of like, fuck you. Like, I'm telling you, it's kind of like this person, like, this energy or from an emotional aspect. So you could be thinking about your emotions or when it came to your emotions but it's kind of like you watching this from another person i'm telling you it's kind of like you in the midst of somebody else's drama and you don't belong there or somebody's in your shit and they don't belong there that's what it kind of gets me though but this aquarius here though i'm telling you like it's it's, it's annoying and they pissing me off they pissing me off so i'm sorry if there's somebody who y'all know <laughs> they pissing me off but who really got me fired up is this Libra energy. Because it's like, what are they going through that and they energetically picking it up on you? Yep, buddy. Nine of Wands and then that's the uh, Eight of Cups. Defensive. Let's see what this Libra energy wants. Ooh. Magician reverse two over here. Yes, yes. <sighs> Capricorn energy. Wait a minute, Capricorn energy. Strength. Let's see. That's what I said. Then we'll figure out what else comes out. Because I knew it was y'all. I said, it's too many messages trying to come in at once. And it's throwing me out. Page of Cups and the Strength. And here, like, this is somebody where you hear me say that. Um, wait a minute. Let me see to the bottom. No, Page of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. This is the Strength. This energy here, it gives me a person that's not. This, that, like, they're near. They're, 
going back to the contractual obligation if you're seeking some sort of justice or some sense of vengeance from a person or contractual obligation this is a person where you hear me say in the in the in the strength type energy working with them is kind of like they probably de they probably drain you or they deplete you and they're not very honest about certain things like they when they probably drained you or depleted you in the sense of where they weren't very honest about certain things they gave off the sense of the illusion the nine of wands and the eight of cups and the queen of pentacles like this is where you hear me say being very guarded and defensive this is monetary gain like this is a person where you hear me say the queen of pentacles she's more of the oh what about me money you know like that money 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 type aspect like this is a money 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 aspect and even if it's trying to fix or heal like she can't because you got to be able to break through certain things and see that emotional situation so take that accountability so if this is an old contract coming from or dealing with an aquarius or matters of with your stardom or inner work or workings you hear me say the alchemy trying to bring it to certain things businesses projects longevity they weren't never gonna do it Not the person, you hear me say, or trying to make a star. Who is the third party? It's like they're not going to do it. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. Like, they're not going to do it. All right. So, you got Knight of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Death, Seven of Nine of Swords. What is it? Nine, seven, twenty, 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 twenty. Knight of Swords? God damn. Knight of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, Scorpio Energy, Seven of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. Look at that. No, I need to say something about this, like independently trying to go about something, but at the same time, ooh, something bites me. Oh, I need to say something that's independently trying to go about something at the same time, trying to get a fresh new start, only to be cold, closed out, and pushing it by yourself. Mm -mm, I keep telling y'all. Watch who you get in your business. Watch who you get in your business. Uh, two of Wands, Nine of Swords, the Magician, Seven of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles. Look at that. You went from a king to a page. <laughs> like, this is the... I'm not laughing at y'all. I promise you I'm not. Like, this is the energy that somebody may have gave off to you. Like, big king of Pentacles. Yeah, I got it. I got it. <laughs> Only to go from a king to a page. Like, what the fuck? Well, it could be the money, you hear me say, that comes in from inheritance type issues. Like, you hear me say, the illusion, the seven of cups. Oh, I, I think I'll give you this. Like, gave you just a crumb. For this. <laughs> Y'all, that's not funny. <laughs> Y'all, that's not funny. I see why y'all pissed. And I'm not laughing because of that. I'm not. Like, that's not funny at all. Boy, that's not funny at all. Let's see what else comes out. Yeah, this is an old project, old business. <laughs> this is something old contractually. Like, it is. Like, it's old. It's old, it's old, it's old, it's old. It's about to be freed up in the mess. You're going to be able to let it go. Whatever mental hold or hostage that is keeping a person stuck in or whatever the case may be. It's kind of like you waiting on like the sense of a final judgment that comes in from a person. But it's the releasement that comes in or whatever the case may be. It's kind of like waiting that overviewing from other people. Needing that sense of. It's kind of like, yeah. It's like needing that sense of freeing up. But it's like the people, you hear me say, that's trying to overturn something in this moment to oversee. It's about to free. Now, I don't know the sense of the outcome because you got the sun here. So, I ain't see that. But, um... It's like a freeing, like a burden lifted for somebody. You hear me say, if it's no nothing wrong, no harm, for no foul, it's kind of like, yeah, that's a freeing instance. It's kind of like, ooh, I get to be free. And you know, like, especially in these karmic type situations where you hear me say getting caught up in situations, being familiar with them from the past or trying to call in new karma. It's not trying to always do certain things right to be in a position to receive something. Sometimes you get stuck in situations that bring you nothingness but it builds the integrity and like the transparency of you so you can be able to stack when it comes to like judgment calls or situations being free emotionally shackled and tethering to certain things that's the release that it gives you 
not in the sense of always monetary gain to be able to go off and be fruitful in another place. God damn, it took me a long time to get that message out. <laughs> Fuck. I said that though. That's why I said it's, it's not like that. Four cups and the ace of pentacles. That's why I said it's, it's, it's just the energy. Because I'm telling you, it's weird. Like, this, I'm telling you, like, the story switch is kind of like, you trying to wait on a judgment or something to come from somebody else, right? To free you up. And somebody sits and sees their sense of regret and try to offer you a, a sense of support. You trying to give this motherfucker something to, you know what I'm saying, for as a position to push. <laughs> and they hear. Damn, I missed that fucking opportunity. And you like, bitch. Like, I'm saying, like, that's why I said, this is pissing me off. <laughs> this is pissing me off. This is pissing me off. But the only reason why you hear me say this, going about it, it's the third party. So if you're the third party into certain things, this gonna sound so fucked up. Sometimes you gotta cut out the middleman. That's all I got to say to gain a sense of control. Like, sometimes you got to cut out the middleman, whether that is the king of swords way, legally. Or poaching. Fuck you talking about? Hell, the king of pentacles, it may be risky, but it's poaching. Fuck you talking about? So, um, that's what I got to say. But the other hand, one of y'all cheaters, one of y'all that cheated on your girlfriend, she sitting up in the house and she mad that you possibly did something. She went to your phone and she said you still talking to bitches while you in the house. This is a story that is going on. Really getting my download. She went to your phone. You talking to people on FaceTime, whatever the case may be. COVID and lifted up. You possibly doing something and she don't trust you. So, with COVID being around, y'all had enough time to be around each other in this moment. Listen to this. Then now since you finna get ready to go or you finna go do something and be back out in the real world the trust is not there so it's kind of like those temper tantrums those emotional type moments it's kind of like her sitting there being around you thought it was building trust but it really didn't build trust it just gave her comfortability with your routine and not a routine finna be broken and she think that you not gonna live up to the ability of the person that you need to be so in order for you not to go out and be the cheater you know or whatever the case may be it's hone in and fix that shit so she can nip that shit in the bud. So I don't know if it's she, he, whoever this third party person is. Don't know, but somebody's uncomfortable with that because it's kind of like you're reverting to your old sense of ways. At the same time, you hear me say it's kind of like somebody's looking a fucking gifted horse in the fucking mouth. <laughs> like, look at this. Somebody's looking a fucking gifted horse in the mouth. It's kind of like you're trying to get them some sort of lifeline to help them to alleviate, you hear me say, especially here to awaken, to push, to get them there. But somebody's like, oh, shit. Just that four of cups energy. Oh, shit, damn it. Damn it, I missed out on it. And you like, hmm, huh, take it. Like, that's the energy it gives me, though. It's so weird. Whew. other than that i struggled to get this reading out i'm so sorry if y'all followed it y'all followed it i'm really sorry i really struggled to get this shit out because it was all over the place sorry but um it's a third party that's in the way and y'all got a middleman that's like secretly poaching or trying to come in on someone don't know if it's you or trying to get something but like i said sometimes you gotta cut the middleman out and go around that shit somebody waiting on a legal matter to be able to be lifted and in the meantime when it does come around this is where this person comes in and they apologize to you or they feel like they missed out on something so be on the mind for that or whatever the case may be when somebody comes in and they try to offer you so this is where you hear me say being free and it's like at that moment to where you hear me say what's the let me wait, wait, wait. Let me see. Uh, yeah, but ah, shit. But temperance was upright though, so patience is only gonna persevere in this type of moment. You got high priestess again, queen of wands, high priestess, four swords in here. It's kind of like wanting to take some risk. When you hear me say building some sort of foundation with a person, like longevity and stability, but it's like the stress that comes behind it. But on a note though, I'm telling you, don't. It's like. Don't let patience 
or don't let impatience be the reason why you be the one that missed the opportunity and don't let impatience let you make rash decisions because you don't want to deal with the emotional aspects whoo this reading was shit i'm telling you like it really was this reading it seemed like it went to shit but it honed in so remember one of y'all got a middleman or being the middleman and it's kind of like it's annoying so you're gonna have to go to the source somebody's been secretive and sneaky right and it may be how certain things may need to go out and play out but you hear me say sometimes in order to eliminate the middleman you gotta go see the fucking judge so i gotta say to free you but when you get freed or you freeing someone and they don't recognize it. This is where when you're trying to offer them an opportunity. Well, they, you hear me say at the time, when you were trying to get them an opportunity for some, they going to look a fucking gifted horse in the mouth at this moment. Don't get mad when they decline. When they decline your sense of idea or business builder. Boom. That's it. So other than that, that's what I said for you cheaters. That's what your girl mad at at this moment. I'm sorry for calling y'all cheaters, which y'all might be cheating or whatever the case may be or have. And it's got like certain things going on. You probably picked up a routine. So now she's thinking about the kids, the family, the this, throwing everything up in the play, all this different stuff. And you like, I've been here with you. What are you talking about? So it's kind of like that. So yeah, it's just a trust. She ain't trust you. She just got accustomed to you. I'm sorry. Hell. Yeah. I'm hungry. So on this note, y'all, I'm gone. So, so what I do with my damn AP? Damn it. Damn it. Other than that, y'all, wait a minute. I got to find my AP first. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Chris is at 41, 45. All right.